Hello everyone, welcome back to Ark's Fatalis. There's quite a few things that I intend to do in this episode. A lot of things to get to, should be fun. But the first thing that I'm supposed to do is... I'm pressing the wrong keys here. I'm supposed to go talk to Felnor about the fact that I can't destroy the meteor. I still don't know who Felnor actually is, but I looked up a walkthrough and I know exactly where to go. I basically need to go back to the, the throne room, I'm back to Ark's. But before that, when I was reading the walkthrough, I saw some mention about doors and locking, and I thought, hmm, maybe that's related to this. And perhaps it's also related to this. The first locks the second. And it turns out, I was right. The first door locks the second. So if you close the door behind you, it opens this. And I'm assuming this is what makes it. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's what you're supposed to do. What the hell is that? Do those piles of meat and bones just... slide? Are they alive? That was weird. So, yeah, that's how you're supposed to get there. Alright, so let's get back to Arks. Oh, and by the way, the blind priest guy who has disappeared. <laughs> let's see if he's gotten further. Uh, apparently he's not important, though, so it's not a problem. Let's see, where's he at? Ah, there he is. <laughs> I wonder if I like the end of the game. I'm just going to see him on the complete other side of the map. Alright, let's blow this popsicle stand. That's what all the young kids are saying these days, right? The sacrificial popsicle stand. Jesus, that's loud! Fucking hell! Oh, oh! Um, the exit. This is the exit, right? No, wait, that's not the exit. That's the exit. My ears. Have mercy, Master. He threatened me. Mercy! Come, come, Urzag. You know full well that we must all do our bit for the cause with what feeble powers each of us possesses. But take comfort. Your modest sacrifice shall not be in vain. <laughs> Oh my. Alright, what's the easiest way back? Uh, probably just to get to the teleportal. Yeah, let's do that. Do do do. Do 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 do. Thank God for these teleporting things. Very helpful. Totally natural way of getting down. Ooh, there's one inside of the castle, isn't there? Uh, I think this is the one, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, okay. Majesty. Our outpost has been attacked by the Ilsids. This time, there were no survivors. What's worse, we have not found the bodies. Perhaps they have been taken. Great heavens! Where could they have been taken? We do not know. They were swift and merciless. They are a formidable enemy, sire. I suppose these Ilsids are indeed part of the cult of Akba. Under the orders of Aserbius? I don't really have any proof, but we first heard of them when the cult of Akba appeared. But there's something else. Sweberis left the kingdom recently. He must have been able to tell that we were about to discover the truth about him. What truth? Sweberis and Aserbius are one and the same. 
He is behind Fallon's murder. Now I understand why Aservius was waiting for me at the temple. He knew I was coming. So, you fought with him. Finally, a bit of good news. Amshagar, tell me that you have destroyed the source of evil once and for all. No. I was unable to destroy the meteor. Instead, I felt my energy draining away. Good lord! How can that be possible? Felnor, how can you explain that? Hmm... I was afraid this might happen. The stone is now in resonance with Akba, and the energy channel drains both your physical and your magical energy to feed Akba. In fact, by touching it, you have sent your own power to our worst enemy. I think I understand what you mean, Felnor, but even my very best men have always failed in this quest. Amshagar is not one of your best men, sire. He is a guardian sent by the gods. If you think there is the slightest chance that I can destroy this meteor, I will find a way to do it. You must protect yourself against the meteor's energy drain. During the War of the Meiji, the kingdom was given an artifact of immense power by the Order of Adernium. Without it, we would quite possibly have lost the war. This artifact was composed of two pieces, Krahaus and Zohark. Any magician who possessed both of these items became immune to all energy draining effects. It was thanks to this protection that the war was finally won. Well then just give me this object. That's where it gets complicated. In fact, when this object was given over to us, a treaty was signed with the Order of Adernium by Paxalis, father to our current king. This pact stipulated that we were to return the artifact to the Order when they requested it. I see no wrong there, so? So, twenty years later, a group of rebels rose up from God knows where, killed my wife, and kidnapped my daughter. She had only just been born. And more to the point, they also took Krahaus. Luckily, we prevented them from stealing Zohark. The Order turned up a few hours later and demanded that we return the whole object to them. We could only give them Zohark, and ever since, they have been demanding that we honor our pact and find Krahaus once more. We have never found those rebels. We do not even know if they are still on the face of Arx, as they were only heard of that one time. Nevertheless, the Order assures us that they can still feel the presence of Krahaus in the fortress. Very well. I will find Krahaus and Zohark. Now go, Amshagar, and save us from this demon. Find Krahaus and Zohark and destroy this accursed meteor once and for all. Okay, so nobody knows where it is and I'm supposed to go find it. This job is Wonderful. Um, any hints here? Need to find it. Wow, it really doesn't say, does it? Well, the Order of Adernium are the snake women that I pissed off when I shot fireballs at them and stole their stuff. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't like that too much. Perhaps I should go speak to the snake woman that is in the library. Hurry to find Krahos and Zohark and destroy the statue. You must find Krahos and Zohark. It's the only way we can destroy this. Yes, yes, yes. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. Okay, where's the snake woman? I should probably do a little bit of, I should probably do a little bit of reading too. See if I can find any information about Krahas and whatever the other one was called. More nonsense fantasy names. Krahas and Zohark. And Fabian Orbaplenix or whatever his name was. Mm, I think she's this way. That's the guard room. Maybe I should go to the jail, too. 
sense. The guy was murdered in there, right? Well, first, let's see if I can get any information from her. I seek information about Krahaus and Zohark. I think I've got what you need here. A book about the ancient gods which mentions Krahaus and Zohark. It may be useful. I would love it. Did you give it to me? No. What? I feel like she just cursed me. And anyway, the uh, book is probably somewhere here. Mm. Let's see, did I read this one on the Order of Adernium? I think I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like the one that I did read, right? Yeah. The one about the gods. Akash, Yesor, Alexika. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Maybe this one? The ancient gods? Yeah, it's probably this one. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Okay, in the beginning, the gods were omnipotent. They reigned over arcs for eons before humans made their first appearance. We know very little about the gods, apart from the fact that it seems they were full of wrath at the proliferation of humans and disappeared from the surface of the earth. Some very ancient writings suggest that this disappearance was caused by the lack of faith the first mortals showed in them. Two gods stayed longer... Two gods stayed longer than all the others before disappearing. Their names were Zohark and Krahaz. Or Krahaz or whatever. Zohark was the most... Oh my god. Zohark was the most powerful of all the gods. He was thunder, lightning, and earthquakes. He was storms, hurricanes, and everything that represented the brutal force of nature. But his power... I hate you. I hate you. But his power was only liberated by Krahaz. Krahaz was the goddess of equity, guardian of equilibrium, and- Oh my god, I'm gonna- <sighs> Can I take this book? Can I just fucking take this book? I can? It's not considered stealing. Okay, good. Fuck off. I'm gonna go read this in a goddamn jail cell or something. Alright. For the love of god. I can still hear her. Whatever. <laughs> okay, but finally, they disappeared like the rest. Modern times saw ancient beliefs abandoned, and humans, who could create magic themselves, had their turn at controlling the earth and the lightning. Humans entered into a new, conceptual era, where they had more belief in their own capabilities, and only turned to the gods for marginal things such as fertility or hedonism. They revered the gods of negotiation, gold and luck, and even the gods of the poor. But these first gods... The gods of the brutal forces of creation had no place in the Pantheon. Since the start of this new era and the shift of faith, the most powerful gods have retreated to their own dimension, called the Nodin, where they await new worshippers to enable them to return. Well, that's kind of where I came from, isn't it? Or I was sent by the Nodin? Well, hell, I was sent by the gods. So... As interesting as it is, I'm not really sure how that helps me. Hmm. Maybe there's more in here. There's another one about gods, wasn't there? Know your gods and demons. Oh, don't you have room for it? Uh Be gone, foul powder. I can't I can't even drop why can't I drop it? There we go. Let's get far, far away from you. Let's see if there's anything here about them. 
Mm -mm, Arkbar. Oh, is it? Yeah, there's nothing useful here. Yeah, that really doesn't help. Well, anyway, I didn't really intend to do the main quest for a little while. There are quite a few other things to do. So, I think the first thing I want to do is probably just sell all my crap. I have so much stuff. I have literally no room in my inventory, not a single slot. So I should probably go do that. But first, actually, let's go to the jail cells. Let's see if there's anything going on there, since that cutscene did show the guy being murdered, I think. Okay, I guess he's just gone. In that case, I'm gonna go sell stuff. I'll be right back. That's it, guys. Wake up. It's time to take over from our comrades. Uh, oh, what a good night that was. A good night for you, you snorry pig. Hey, I don't snore. I never snored in my life. Yes, you do. That's enough. Let's go. Actually, I think you're the one who snores. That's why you're accusing me. I can't believe it! Still lush. That was an interesting cutscene. I was just in the process of selling my stuff and went into the guards' room. Ignored those weird noises. Um, and that happened. Was that... Did that, did that have some deeper meaning? Strange. And yeah, for some reason my movement sounds seem to be kind of bugged because they randomly spike incredibly loudly. As you can hear. It kind of scares the shit out of me. I hope that fixes itself. Uh, anyway, back to selling stuff. Okay, I've gone ahead and cleared out my inventory. Did a pretty damn good job of it, too. I was completely full, and now I'm only one-fourth full. Much roomier. God, I sold so much stuff. Those runes that I didn't need were each worth, like, 400, 500, something like that. All these spells. I sold more than half of them. They were also worth, uh, like, 500 each. It added up to a lot. To the point where I now have 11,000 gold. I feel kind of rich. I, I can't believe I just made so much money. I also made a bunch of potions. Mm -hmm. Just a bunch of poison potions. And sold them. Just to process more of my bottles and more of my powders. Since I'm overstocked on both. Yeah, I just made so much money, so it's time to go on a little bit of a shopping spree. If you can call it that. It's not really much of a shopping spree, I'm just gonna buy two things. So... First thing I'm going to grab is this... Mithril Helmet. It's got a 9 armor rating, whereas my current one has 5. And it also gives me slight bonuses to my stats, whereas this one actually gives me slight negatives. Also, it has more durability. So, let's grab that. It looks almost exactly the same, except it's slightly brighter. Cool. Might as well sell my old one. Second thing I'm going to buy is a new shield. Which is marginally better than my current one. It only provides me with one more armor. Which is almost nothing, but it is something. And it also looks pretty rad. Oh yeah. And unfortunately, that's it. Nothing else here is actually better than what I have. Except the stuff that I can't use. Which would be... Where is it? There it is. The super heavy stuff that requires 14 strength. I only have two. But everything else is as good or worse than what I'm currently wearing. Yep. So, not a huge amount of stuff, but it's pretty cool. I also reloaded the game, by the way. I just shut it down and loaded it back up, which fixed my weird walking sound bug. So, now it's not like I'm getting punched in the ear with loud 
footsteps, which is quite an improvement. Okay, is there anything else to buy? I don't think so. I also bought some tools, by the way, from the general store. So I've got two sets instead of just the one. Yeah, I think I'm good to go. So... What I want to do next is go back to the treasure hunt. So I'm going to head back down there and try to find where to use my reveal spell that I've just learned. And once I find it, I will return. So I'll be right back. Ooh. Here we go. This is not what I was looking for. But in the process of looking for what I was looking for... Yes, that's a wonderful sentence. You're welcome. I uh, found the one place that has a field that I couldn't get through. Alright. I have a spell for that. Where is it? It's on four? Yeah. Let's see what's in here. Hello. You look like the heavily armored guy I saw at the beginning of the Temple of Akba. Are you an enemy? Yes, you are. Oh my god. He's supercharged. What the fuck? That's the, uh, crap, I forgot what they're called. The, um, Ilsids? Is it the Ilsid? Yeah, that's them. Remember very, very early on, I was reading that logbook, and they talked about getting attacked, and how they managed to down one of them, but then the, the, per the one that was downed started to, like, laugh maniacally or something, and then he got everyone away, and then he exploded? Yeah, that's what he just did. A two-handed sword. Hmm. Twelve strength, which I actually have, but it does require sixty close combat, which I don't. What do I have? Yeah, I've only got forty. Hmm. I'll take that nonetheless. Might be worth a decent amount. Alright, thankfully they're fairly vulnerable to... Oh shit, there's another one. Fairly vulnerable to fireballs. There's anything, anything else around here. I keep seeing that symbol. What is that symbol? No, that, that wasn't it. Like that? Is it the other way? Whoops. Hello. I don't suppose you want to talk? Nope. Ooh. I wonder if you can loot them before they explode. Ooh, I should also cast my healing spell. Yeah, I should get more used to that. What was that again? that thing? Are those antennas? For making broadcasts or something? Perhaps the Ilsid have a late night radio show? Hmm. Ooh. Down a level. Let's see where this goes. I'm not sure if I should be down here. I, yeah, I meant to just go on a treasure hunt, but, uh, 
We're doing something very different now. A fancy door. Oh shit. Nope, can't loot him. Yeah, how many mana potions do I have? Five. Unless I'm very, very patient, I'm going to have to use them. Did that do anything? Oh, I pressed the wrong key. There's the right one. I can't. Shit. Oh no! He didn't die from two. He's stronger than the others. Perhaps... I shouldn't be here. Let's go a little bit deeper. So many of them. Yeah, trying to attack them with swords would be suicide. They do so much damage. I really just need more mana. I wonder which stat controls mana regeneration, or if any even does. I don't know. Maybe just more casting would help. I want to see if I can, like, steal something worth a hell of a lot, though. Ooh. Hello. Ah, there's no one in here. Perfect. Perfect. I just want to nab some stuff and then get the hell out of here. That's a pretty chest. A candle! I've always wanted a candle. Enchant object. I can sell that. I don't need it. I already have a enchant spell. Rules of the Noden, the dimension of the gods, by the thinker Aaron Salar. Salar, Archives, Volume 1. Ancient gods. I think I already read that, didn't I? <laughs> My beloved Akba. Is that a poem to Akba? His writings are created in honor of my master and lord. Akba is the source of knowledge across the universe and all the known dimensions. Establishing contact with his cult was a momentous occasion for our people and marks the point of no return. Worship Akba or perish. Because Akba is a god who also symbolizes the power of destruction of everything in the world, he knows how to reward the most loyal of his servants with great powers and punishes all others without mercy. Akba is immortal. However, he needs souls to maintain power over the known universe. Collecting souls allows him to spread his wisdom far and wide. A good way to please Akba is to offer him impious souls who refuse to obey him. Although non-believers are our preferred targets, some of us are keen to enter into communion with Akba and offer ourselves in sacrifice. After all, death means nothing compared to an eternity of joy and spiritual enlightenment. A single day of my life lived as a believer is worth more than a thousand years of life lived as an unbeliever. For, thanks to Akba, I have seen things which have made me understand the fundamental workings of our universe. Things which will be eternally out of reach of non-believers. Ooh! A ring of general protection. I think I'm already wearing one, aren't I? I am. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I did say I was going to leave. Oh, I just want to know what's around the corner, though. <gasps> More chests. Yes. Yes. Lock. Wait, what was that? A chunk of metal. Hmm. Can I make a blade myself? It is suggestive. I mean, there's bars and pliers and all this stuff. Files. Lock. Whoa, you can even operate it. That is so cool. So yeah, does it actually... Does it actually work? I mean, I suppose what you would do is probably heat this up, right? And then hammer it? Doesn't seem to work. Interesting. All right, let me try this. It's impossible. Hmm, can't do it. Okay, now I'm actually going to leave for real. I did say I wanted to do the treasure hunt though, so I am actually going to do that. Yeah, let's, let's end with that. I'm going to find the next clue of the treasure hunt, and then we'll end on that note. So I'll be right back when I find it. Ooh. I think I found it. Because I'm pretty sure what I accidentally read in that walkthrough when I was trying to look for the goblin outpost is that it's behind an unstable wall in this location. I couldn't even find the wall, but pretty sure this is it. I think it's the only unstable wall left. All right. Hmm. Alright, I'm supposed to use my reveal spell, obviously. And indeed, there appears to be nothing in here. Which is suspicious, you know, getting into a secret room and finding nothing. So let's go ahead and try to use a reveal spell. It's going to take me two million years to uh, figure out how to use it. Or was it? Three? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Uh, did it work? It feels like the spell is, like, disappearing instantly, doesn't it? It makes a noise and then it's just gone, like... If it's active, shouldn't it pop up in the top right, like other stuff does? I don't know, something seems wrong. Maybe it's not a constant effect. Maybe it's not like night vision. Or seeing in the dark. Maybe it's like ignite, where it just takes effect on everything around you. It dispels illusions and invisibility. You know, that's actually probably how it works. But wasn't I already in the center of the room, so shouldn't it have worked? This might be the wrong spot, I don't know. Or did it pop up in the top right for a second? It kind of looked like it did. Something seems wrong. 
Yeah, something doesn't feel right. I'm gonna look into this. I'll be right back. Oh, no. There's actually nothing wrong. It's right here. I didn't realize this appeared. It's just on the ground. Okay, then. Sweet. <laughs> cool. Oh, well, whoops. Ha uh ha. -huh. I see you worked out the third clue, stranger. Okay, third clue is... Alright, so I actually can't take this with me, which means I need to write this down. So let me do that. Third clue. Three. I believe the previous thing it said was level three, so use the object. Use the object U. Okay. Alright. Next clue. Go exactly three levels below the place where you found clue number two. And use a shovel. Interesting. Three below. Clue two. Use shovel. I wonder what shovels were for, because I never found anything that actually needed them. Unlike the pickaxe, which is actually very useful. Well, I guess I have an excuse to buy one. Okay, so where did I find clue number two? Clue number two was found at the troll cave. And the trolls are... Is that this level? Wasn't it here? I'm pretty sure it was. Three levels below clue number two, so that's level six? Holy crap. I've, I've barely even been down there. Okay, well I think that's gonna have to wait. Yeah, I should probably wait until I actually really need to go down to level six to get there. Because I've... Yeah, that... That seems quite far ahead of me at this point at this moment. Okay, well there's the next step of the treasure hunt. There's still some other stuff I want to do. I still need to go down to the two busy brothers. Wherever the hell they were. I can't actually quite remember. And I believe they have a rune that I don't have. At least one. So I want to go buy that. Aside from that. I think I just need to progress on the main quest, and I still have no idea what the hell to do to progress on the main quest, but I'll figure that out some other time. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.